It was a great sunny day in the Pride Lands, and Fully was armed with Uno for their daily patrol. They had been patrolling around the, near the water holes and other places just to make sure that there are peace and quiet around the kingdom. But suddenly, Uno mentioned he saw something in the distance, and he fully asked him what it is going to be. And he looked, and she was actually Yasiri. Yasiri was a very good friend with the Lion Guard, so she was always welcome to the Pride Lands, and she was also a good friend to the royal family. Yasiri would walk up to Fuli and Uno, and they all talked for a while, and they asked her how things are in the Outlands. She explains that everything is just perfect in our Outlands. But she was in uh, in Pride Lands for just to see how her friends were doing since she hadn't even had the ability to see them for quite some time. She has to play after look after her clan and and she knows that they are always busy with their patrols and saving the Pride Lands for any particular potential danger. Which both Ono and Fuli would have thought that was correct. Because they never knew if any potential danger will threaten not only the Pride Lands, but also the royal family. But for quite some time, they have been peacefully, so they even they still maintain their daily patrols around the kingdom, or at least around the borders, or perhaps within the kingdom. But they always, they always have their ears and eyes open, just in case. And Uno mentioned that he was going to see Kion and the others, um, See if they needed any particular help. So Fully said that she could handle things by herself. Then. So after Ono had left, Yasiri and Fully started talking together and even started walking around to some places. There were at some point when Yasiri started feeling hungry. Fully knew there was a river nearby where they can catch lots of fish. So they went there. After that, Yasiri had eaten some of some of the fishes. She felt happy to have a good friend like Fully nearby to at least help her when she needs something. Even though when Yasiri had been feeling strangely around Fully, because last time she was around them, she started feeling a bit more warm inside. She felt more happier when being approached or it'll be nearby to Fully. Even though that Fuli and Yasiri were used to be considered to be rivals. But that was all changed, but now they're good friends. But there was something about Fuli's connection, though, that she made, that she started to believe. What about if they could have something else between Fuli and herself? So, after a while, Yasiri asked Fuli, if they, she wanted to have a race. Even though Fuli just <laughs> rolled her eyes and said that she would easily beat her, even in an instant. But Yasiri knew that. But she wanted to have a friendly race, as long as that Fuli doesn't even overuse her strength for speed. And even if sometimes it can be a little bit hard for Fuli to try to hold back her speed, but she agreed to at least try to see if Fuli could win against the Siri, even not using her whole full speed. They promised each other to start with the by the, the river and end by the water hole to his only short distance away. First one to win was will give him something in the prize. So, they started. Yasiri was given 10 seconds head start, and after that, both of them ran so fast as they could, even a Fuli easily could have won against Siri. But she promised, and she held back most of her speed. Even though despite that she didn't use like 100% of her full speed, she won against Yasiri. But Yasiri didn't mind if she lost against Fuli, because she had at least some, some sort of 
lest it vanish against her. Fully though, she asked what this price would have been. But Yasiri had no idea what could have given, so she asked her to close her eyes, and she did. And suddenly, Yasiri lay forward and kissed just the Fuli, which surprised her, and just before she could say anything, Yasiri ran off. She ran all the way to Outlands, and Fuli, she was just sitting there, stunned of just what happened. She had no idea what's going to happen now, though. Because after this, she snapped out of it. And she knew that, that she could easily run after Siri. But she had no idea exactly where in, out, in the Outlands she would be. So she decided to go back to get her friends. But she didn't mention about this kiss, though. Because she had no idea what it was about. Or why Yasiri even did in the first place. So she didn't mention it. But a couple of days later, Kayon went to the Outlands to see Yasiri and Janja, who just to see how things are going on out there. And it was then when Yasiri mentioned about this particular kiss to Fuli to Kayon. And he was surprised that she. Kion told her that she had, had no idea what she meant, because Fuli didn't mention about this particular kiss at all, but either to him or the rest of the lion guard. Yasiri had would actually actually would understood that maybe that she felt embarrassed or perhaps she didn't even understood what why she did it. But Kion he said that he won't bring this up to her if there was any some embarrassing for, for Fuli. So, but he didn't though. But eventually, soon enough, what all the other in the guard will find out about this particular kiss. First, it was Ono, and then rather that was the others. But they didn't were doesn't even teasing her or bullying her because of this. They were just surprised seeing that she was kissed by Yasiri, even though she had no idea what this was about. But Uno and Kion had all both talked about this. And from what he thought from his sister Kayora, Kay Kayora, she mentioned about this kiss might be that Yasiri might have fallen in love with Fuli. Which Fuli herself was a little surprised that Yasiri was in love with her. So Yasiri, was, who was still back in the Outlands and several days later, she got a visit by Fuli. She requested Fuli by to Yasiri if they can talk in more privately. And this Yasiri had no idea what this word was about. Because it has been a while since that she had almost forgot about this kiss. But when Fuli did ask her about this particular kiss, she blushed and said she really didn't know what to do, but then Fully leaned forward herself and kissed Yasiri back. But she didn't run. She didn't run away. She stood, just sat there and looked at her while she was blushing. It took her some time to realize that Fully had feelings for Yasiri. But she knew, even if the Yasiri that perhaps wasn't in love with her, she wanted to say telling her about is that she had a crush on her. Despite they are different. But Yasiri, all she did was to smile and said that she loved her as well. And from that moment, they both realized they were in love with each other. But they didn't mention this to others, especially to Yasiri's clan, because she has no idea if her family or other clan members would accept because Fuli was a jeopard and Yasiri was a hyena, two different kinds, and they were not expected to this two different species of kind to be falling in love with each other. But after at least some time had passed, Yasiri took it the, this courage enough to reveal to her clan about her relationship with Fuli. 
and they all actually were very surprised. They were a little bit more shocked, but they were actually surprised, but, and most of all, supportive. Even though they had chosen, chosen Yasiri to be the clan leader, but they, despite this, still supported her choices. And fully, she had told her friends and family about her being together with Yasiri. Even the royal family was really happy to see that she had found someone to be with. Even there was Hajina, but they knew Yasiri is a good friend and also an ally, not only to, to Lion Guard, but also to the royal family. And she was always welcome. And after they start being start dating, things start to be a little bit different between them. It happened that Yasiri went to see Fuli in the Lion Guard's headquarters, where they were just spending some time, eating some food, just talked. They even had some races against each other, or just sat in a water hole, talked. But it was something about this, their relationship, where some of their dear friends were not expecting to happen. Because all of this, Fuli had never expected in the first place that Yasiri could have been fallen in love with her. It was even because after that, it was after Fuli had emitted her feelings towards Yasiri, when she realized, what about if she was in love with her, or that Yasiri didn't, didn't like her, like, love her back in the same way, but only like her as a friend? How would that affect the friendship? But Kayo had mentioned this once before to her. To her. Sometimes it worth the risk to gamble with something. Even if the person doesn't, the other one, the other one doesn't love you back the same way, you had to take the risk. So she did, and it turned out to be a better solution than she had originally planned to have happened. But then, after that, Yasiri and Fuli had been start dating, something happened. Two strange hyenas had arrived at the Outlands, and they tried to make disorder, tried to maintain, like saying that they now are the true leaders of the Outlands, and the others in the Outlands should obey them, which were really surprising. They had managed to gather amongst some of the animals as behind their backs as sort of allies. But there were only two clans of animals was against these supposed new leaders, Yasiris and Yandyas clan. And they were alone so somehow had to force abandon their home and go into hiding. Yasiri had told her clan to stay there while she get to try to get the Lion Guard for help. When she got there, she was even attacked by these two strange hyenas. Apparently, they had been following her and realized what she was going to do, so they attacked her. And after that, she thought they were, she had been injured too badly. They left, but she did manage to crawl, or at least walking by a limp, back to the headquarters of the Lion Guard. As she approached, she collapsed right inside, in front of Fuli, Kion, and Uno. The others. They were really surprised what it was happened. They saw that she was injured. She demanded, or at least requested, to know what happened. They have no idea. But before she passed out, she managed to tell them about these two hyenas that had gained control over Bow Outlands, and they even attacked her before that she could be. They thought that she was too injured, or perhaps dead or something. They were furious. Not only them, but fully. She was so mad. They had attacked her girlfriend. But Kion noticed it and told her not to let her anger control her. But they even demanded for a little to know more. Kion took with Fuli back to her Pride Rock, where Rafiki took care of her. While the others, Simba, Nala, and of course the Lion Guard went to the Outlands. Of course, 
But they arrived. They met up with Janda and some of his all of his clan, and they all fought together and managed to drive away those two hyenas and the animals that they were supported them. They said they was forced to believe in support them, because if they didn't, they would have been killed themselves. And Yanja, he actually believed them because he had even soon seen some of the crocodiles were threatened by these two hyenas. And if they didn't follow them, they would have been, have been crushed into bar rocks, including some of the young ones. Apparently, the hyenas had managed to capture several of the young crocodiles younglings in a small cave only they knew where they were if they hadn't even followed them they would never seen the young crocodiles ever again so after this fully she remained in the outlands but only for about a few days but just to make sure that the peace were rights once again restored but she returned back to the pride rock with the rest of the lion guard where she found Yasiri back to full health, even though she was still a bit injured, injured, but she was back to health, and she was really grateful to Rafiki to have been helping her by look after her. Even though that Yasiri was not allowed to leave the Pride Rock at least for another couple of more days to be fully recovered, so Kayon was asked to to Yanya to look after the, the Outlands, which she did. When y Yasiri was fall back for cover, she went back to Outlands, but with Fuli with her. She stayed by, by Yasiri's side for only about a more few days, just to make sure that she was safe and that she was perfectly healthy. Yasiri was very, very grateful to have someone like Fuli in her life, and even how she did even when Fuli mentioned that she was so ready to get used to run away to Outlands and attack these hyenas by herself, but that how much Kion told her not to let the anger control her. And Jasiri told Fuli she was very proud to know that, that she didn't let her anger control her. And of course, Fuli was really happy. To have Yasiri in her life. After all this happened though, what happened next? Without these two hyenas were gone, the peace was now once again restored both in the outlands. But what does something about it they later find out? These hyenas, they were trying to take over not only the outlands, but they were later the next target would have been Pride Lands. But uh, sadly, though, according to the appliance, when not went through as they planned to. So, after that, the hyenas was gone. The peace was once again restored in Outlands, and Yasiri's clan was once again in control. Oh, but Yasiri's relationship with Fuli remained strong. To worry about something about the relationship that maintained the peace between the two different kingdoms. Yasir's clan, or at least Yasiri, had been crowned, had been crowned to the next queen, apparently. And that was something Yasiri took it a very serious res responsibility. She was willing to take care of not only about her clan, but also her new kingdom. But after some time, some of the other animals had asked her who will rule the outlands with her now that she is the queen. There were some discussions about if Yanja would be her king, but Yanja he declined that even to want to be a king. He preferred to be more as a patrol leader, not a king. So there were even some discussions or even some rumors if that the theory probably would have taken someone else like Kion to be the king, but that Ogles always was declined. Because he was the leader of the Lion Guard and also the king of the Tree of Heart, Tree of Life. 
But it was some some other animals that suggested what about Fooly? Ever since that ever since Fooly was actually just Siri's girlfriend. And they have been together for almost about two years by now. And, of course, when Jasiri had asked about this, she probably said yes, but she didn't want to demand fully to be the queen, or co-ruler, or at least the next queen against with her. But when fully would ask about this by Jasiri, she didn't hesitate to say yes immediately. So she apparently left the Lion Guard, to went to live with Yasiri in the outlands. But she did actually told Kion before she left that if they needed her help, she would not hesitate to return to help them, no matter what happens. But ever since though that she actually left the outlands from time from time to time just to see her friends back in the Pride Lands. And just even before she left though, Yasiri proposed to Fuli. And fully, she accepted. They even had a wedding in the Outlands. They were actually now married though, two queens of the Outlands. And after they'd been married for about almost four years, Yasiri and Fuli, they wanted to have a family, but they managed to find one, uh, two abandoned hyena pups, which they adopted, two boys. And only about a year later, they found another one, a girl, which they adopted. Now they had three children of their own to do. They were a lot of responsibility, not only leading their own kingdom, but also raising a family, which was both all the three kids was very energetic. But both Fuli and Yasiri was really happy to have the one they loved all the most of all kingdoms. And this is how Fuli and Yasiri from the true love they got a family together, the end.